The June on the Range Eurocomic Thursday isn't complete without Europe's most famous cowboy. And that is Lucky and Luke. But I won't be talking about the original Lucky and Luke comics made by Morris. I will be talking about a more modern Lucky Luke. And it is uh, The Man Who Shot a Lucky Luke by Mathieu Bonhomme. And he didn't only uh, draw drew the illustrations, he also wrote the scenario. Hi, I'm Annie and it is Eurocomic Thursday. Uh, and every Thursday I talk about European comic or graphic novel. And you may have guessed it uh, that June on the Range is a reading event. Uh, that is hosted by Michael K. Vaughan, and that is all about the reading of Westerns. On a rainy day, uh, no, on a rainy night, uh, Lucky Luke rides into a small town. His only worry is that he has uh, no more tobacco. He has run out of tobacco. When the stagecoach with gold is robbed, the townspeople ask Lucky Luke, who is a famous uh, character in, and everybody knows him, and who uh, they know him because he fights uh, criminals and such things, they ask him to look into the matter and uh, catch the villain who robbed the stagecoach coach. and Lucky Luke uh, agrees uh, to look into it as the local sheriff uh, uh, isn't too keen uh, to solve this crime. But soon he notices and that the local sheriff and his brothers are making things very, very difficult for him. For him. Bonhomme writes a very simple but well, very well executed story. It reads like a scenario for a classic western from uh, the 1970s. Uh, when you look at the cam camera angles he chooses and the short, short sequences anyway. There is plenty of suspense in it, in the story, and there are interesting uh, characters in it. Not only uh, the character of uh, Lucky Luke, Lucky Luke has more depth in it than uh, Morris's. Uh, original Lucky Luke, but also there are also side characters who have uh, depth in, in, in the characters. So that makes it really interesting. And one of these side characters that is a, a, re a very interesting character is Doc. And he reminds me a bit of the notorious Wild West ga gambler Doc Holliday, but it isn't him. Uh, but he has uh, incredible uh, depth uh, in, in his character, which makes him extremely interesting uh, to me anyway. The man who uh, shot Lucky Luke is more serious uh, than the ones made by Morris. I think Morris made the first Lucky Luke back in 1946, if I remember correctly. And uh, he created Lucky Luke as a parody on the uh, popular westerns. Back then, in the 1940s and 1950s, uh, westerns were extremely popular. And want, he wanted to uh, make a parody of that. And he did a success, successful job at it, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, Bonhomme, uh, he makes it more a serious uh, 
comic. Although there are some humorous elements in it as well, but uh, it is a reasonably serious story. Uh, it, it like I said, it reminds me a bit of the westerns from the late 1960s and 1970s, uh, especially when I look uh, at the way the shots are framed. But I think it uh, you can also see elements of the way westerns, the few westerns that were made. In more recent times, uh, thinking of the ones that were made in the 1990s uh, and later on. Uh, yeah, so I can't exactly pinpoint why that is, but maybe it's because in this comic uh, violence isn't glorified and uh, there is, um, yeah, maybe it's also that Bonham uh, talks about or depicts uh, the use of the excessive use of alcohol and tobacco, but he never becomes, uh, yeah, how do you say it, um, pedantic about it. Uh, I think not to me anyway. He mentioned it and you see this, uh, but he never is putting up the, up the finger saying, now kiddies, don't do this. No, it's just, um, yeah. Um, another thing uh, that could have uh, made it more, rea uh, more realistic comic than uh, Morris's lucky Luke is the use of color. But first we have to talk about the illustrations themselves. They seem to be uh, to be less of a caricature uh, than Morris's original uh, drawings. They seem more realistic, but uh, and yet, Lucky Luke is very, very recognizable. I also think Bonham uses more detail in his drawings than Morris did in the original Lucky Luke albums. Uh, and especially when you look at the details in the scenery. Uh, I think he does this very well. He also is excellent at drawing facial expressions and making the illustrations uh, dynamic. He is excellent in it, in my opinion. And then the colors. Uh, he The colors he uses is very, very atmospheric. Like these. Uh, the color, the blue colors for uh, night scenes and the scenes in the saloon are yellow, are yellowish, are a bit yellow. I think he did an excellent job at uh, making this comic overall seem um, very uh, realistic and very well well drawn, in my opinion, anyway. Bonhomme's uh, uh, lucky, lucky look uh, feels not only in the illustrations, but also in the story, uh, like a real man of flesh and blood. Uh, all characters feel like real people, uh, some more than others, but they all have uh, reality to them. Uh, I think that is, is really well done. I can highly recommend uh, The Man Who Shot a Lucky Look by Mathieu Bonhomme. The comic started off as a one-off, but he made some others as well. But I think only one more. He did only one more in the style of the man who shot Lucky Luke, and that is uh, Wanted uh, Lucky Luke, 
I haven't read that one yet, but I'm definitely curious about that one as I liked The Man Who Shot Lucky Luke uh, so much. I think he did an excellent job at it. So what do you think of this new Lucky Luke? Uh, do you like this new, more serious style? Or do you prefer the original of um, Morris or all the other peoples uh, who, who made uh, Morris uh, Lucky Luke comics after Morris has died? But uh, like uh, this is Bonhomme. And uh, I really, I really think, I really appreciate this comic. As always, thanks for watching.